Hi there, today I'd like to do a beginner's guide for GoodNotes 6. You'll learn how to use GoodNotes 6 in just 10 minutes. If you watched my previous GoodNotes 6 tutorial, which is a comprehensive one, you'll find something new in today's tutorial because I'm going to cover almost all the latest updates of GoodNotes 6. So don't miss out. We're going to create a recipe book on the home page of GoodNotes 6. Let's click the new plus button to create a notebook. Name it recipes. Let's choose the paper size. I'll keep it landscape. You can customize the paper size if you want to create a specific size. I'll keep it A4. For the paper color, I'll stick with white. For the paper style, I'll choose dotted paper. Now let's pick a cover. Let's choose this one and change the color to green. If your toolbar doesn't look like this one, you are on the read-only mode. You can click the pen icon to show through the tools. First, I'm going to add the recipe title with the text tool. Let's choose an elegant font like this one. I'm happy with the black text color. Let's make the title bigger. First, we need to turn on automatic under the paragraph. Then we can increase the font size like so. Next, I'm going to create subheadings, ingredients, and instructions. I'm going to write it down, so I'll use the pen tool instead. Let's use a dark brown color. I can pick one right here. Or I can use the color wheel to find the exact color I like. Click Add to Presets will add this color to my color palette. Let's adjust the pen size a bit. Let's write ingredients. Here's the eraser tool if you make a mistake. Or you can actually scribble to erase it like so. Now I want to use the tape tool to decorate it. Let's choose this size. For the tape color, I want something like pale green. As you can see, it won't go behind ingredients. Here's a trick. First, let's uncheck tape tool under the lasso tool so it won't pick up the tape. Cut the ingredients, paste it, and move it over the green tape. Remember to turn the tape option back on so we can select the whole thing. Let's put it here. Instead of using the tape tool, we can also use the highlighter to create the ingredients and instructions label. To draw a straight highlight, hold down your pen tip at the end. Now let's add a picture of our recipe. The image tool will pull up all the pictures from your photos app. I previously saved this picture in photos. You can crop the photo if you like. Another way to add picture from the web is to drag the picture and drop it to GoodNotes. Now let's decorate the picture a bit. First, let's use the shape tool to draw a rectangle like so. Undo to get rid of the stroke. As you can see, the semi-transparent rectangle actually goes over the picture. Let's arrange it to send it to the back. Now we'll use the dashed line to make it look cute like so. Next, I'll show you how the elements tool works. 
It's essentially a collection of stickers which you can add to your notebook. You can use the ones already here, or you can create your own stickers. Let me show you another way to use elements. Let's say I want to make another recipe. You can pull to add a page in the same paper style like so. But this time I want to work on a square paper. Click this plus button and select the square paper. Let's go back to our previous recipe. As I don't want to remake the label ingredients and instructions over and over again for every new recipe, I can save them in the elements tool. Under the lasso tool, let's choose the square style so it's easier to precisely select the whole label. Add element, new collection, give it a name, create. Do the same with the instructions. Now go to the square page, tap the elements tool, tap the sticker. Now let me show you how to organize pages in a document. I'll take this free digital planner as an example. You can find the download link in the description if you are interested. To import any files to good notes, we can first download the file to the Files app and use the Import button to open the file in GoodNotes. Digital Planner is essentially a PDF document with tons of hyperlinks. To make the links work, make sure you turn on the read-only mode like so. Let's say I want to add a notes page after every month. Go to the notes page Click three dots, copy page, then go to January, click this add page icon, make sure it's after, paste page. We can also click the four little square at the top left corner, click the down arrow, add page after. To move a page to another location, you can drag it like so. To have more space to work on pages, you can click here, choose window. Let's say you've planned out September and want to share it with your family or colleagues. Click the share button and turn on share link to collaborate. Click send link and copy the link to anyone you want to share. As you can see, you can export the page or export the whole planner here as well. Lastly, I'll briefly show you how to organize files in GoodNotes 6. As you can see, I've organized all my files in different folders. Let's create a folder and name it Food. Drag the recipes notebook we just created to this folder. Click the down arrow. You can change the color of the folder. Tap the star icon of the folder. It will appear under the favorites tab. If you are looking for a specific folder, document, or even notes in the document, for example, the avocado toast recipe we just made, you can quickly locate it under the search tab. We can also find notes inside the document by using the search tool at the top left corner here. I hope you find this quick tutorial helpful. For more in-depth guide, check out our comprehensive GoodNotes 6 tutorial with 20 plus tips and tricks. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you in my next one.